Crazy Will here today, and today we're going to be talking about the Kuna light and camera. Happy Halloween, guys. And on this episode of Crazy Will's Tech Show, we're going to be talking about this light that's right up here behind me. It's called the Kuna Craftsman Light and Security Camera. Okay, so basically what it is, and it's really cool, it is a, it's a light fixture that goes on the outside of your house, and it has a built-in camera. Now, you might think, okay, that's cool and everything, but you can view this anywhere in the world and make it look like you're always home. So, you know, like me and my wife, I'm originally from New York, I go take trips up to New York. When I go to New York and someone comes to my house and they knock on my door, it looks like I'm still there. So I could talk to them like I'm inside the house, like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't come to the door right now. So, or if we are there and we just don't want to be bothered with the people that are coming in there, that's what we use it for as well. Really cool device. Love this little light. There's lots of settings on this. I'm going to show you them in the app. It has an LED light that lets you know that it's on or off. If you don't want people to see that, you can turn it off. It does work with Alexa, which I thought was really cool. Um, only the light part so far, I'm not positive about the video because I do not have an Alexa view, so I don't know if the video comes through. I think that's coming, I'm not positive, but it does work with the light. I, whatever you name the front door, like I have it front door, I can say Alexa, turn on the front door light turn off the front door light. It was pretty inexpensive, you know, uh, as far as lights go, uh, outdoor lights. Basically what we were doing, we were redoing our whole house. We put siding, we put new doors, we put everything. We wanted to change the lighting. The lighting used to be up top. I didn't care for that down shadowy kind of thing. And we did want a carriage light, so that's what we went with. And we were, we were looking at carriage lights. This just happened to come up and I'm like, oh cool. It's a Wi-Fi light that's hardwired in that we can view video on and be able to talk back and forth and it gives you notifications and in some expectations it exceeded our expectations which we were really excited about we thought it was really cool that it did a lot of different things the notifications we love when they work <laughs> that's the only beef I have with this product so far like, like I said it does work with your Echo Dot and all I have to do is say Alexa turn on front door light okay and there you go, it's on. So, you know, that, that that's a really cool feature. That came, uh, I think, a couple months after we bought it, and we were really pleased to see that it had the capability. Alexa, turn off front door light. Okay. Now, the only thing it doesn't have that I thought the voice would have been nice to have uh, with the Alexa app is when somebody does come to the door, instead of your phone notifying you, it would be nice if the Alexas would have notified you. You know, and that's that's software, so that could possibly be coming in the future. I'm not sure. Like I said, we've had this for about a year. I really like this product. Um, there are things that I am disappointed about it, but we'll get into that in the pros and cons. Now, Kuna makes many different styles. Um, this was the style I went for. This is the most common style that you will see, but they have tons. Um, and at the time, we got this on sale for about, uh, I want to say around 150 bucks, and I will put a link down below. Um, as far as the camera, camera is really strong. Um, it's 1080p installing this. Wasn't that hard to install. Um, it's the basic two wires that come out. Um, if you have one that's already existing there, this is going to be a cinch to install. Basically, you take the old one off and you put the new one on, and there's no rewiring. Our scenario, we had to rewire, we had to re redo it because we were doing a new household setup. But as far as installation, it's really simple, really easy. The only thing that you'd have to do, and I will show you part of it, it is pretty thick out there, so if you have siding, you have to make sure you have a panel, like we have a panel that's holding it in that position. Uh, I would definitely recommend that, so that way you can uh, make it nice and even, and it does have quite a thick base. Okay, I turned on back notification. I'm gonna show you on my phone what it looks like when I get a notification, all right? So this is what it's going to look like when you get a notification. Happy Halloween. <laughs> See that? Get a notification. And I'm going to show you the app now. Just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Okay, here's the Kuna app. I'm going to go through this quickly. I'll launch the app. Kuna launches. Okay, so the first thing we could do is you click right 
and you can see that's a live view of the shot right there and we could turn on and off the light um, right now it's nighttime because I'm finishing this up you could hit the microphone button and talk outside of it which you see it starts moving as I talk in the middle you see the three dots and you click on that and you can play a message you could start a recording you can hit us a sound alarm or you can call 911 I've never done the 911 thing but uh, I'm assuming it works pretty good but playing the message these are all the different things that you can make work I like it um, when my wife is home alone I like the fact that uh, she can have a man answer the door so if you hit you know I'm busy right now it'll play that and it's in a man's voice so uh, that's a security feature that I like not that I'm sexist I just like that feature another thing you could go to is if you hit the arrow arrow button down here which is highlighted blue now this is the um, playback window like I said it's only two hour playback so um, I've been doing a lot of things today so there's no playbacks in this window um, it's been over two hours since I filmed out there so but you know you can upgrade your account and let's see what they're charging for this stuff alright so this is what they're charging right now for this you know four ninety nine a month ten dollars a month for four devices so I mean it's not bad um, if the notifications work better I wouldn't mind upgrading it last year at Halloween the whole system went down so I think they really need to update their servers alright if you click on the person icon that is blue now at the bottom this is where you can get the latest versions for updates so you can update your Kuna you could snooze it which I like you can snooze it for a certain amount of time like if you get windy or a bug and that does seem to happen wind and bugs do set this off a lot so if it's driving you nuts you can put it on a timer to stop it from notifying you. You could turn off notifications altogether, uh, front door, receive alerts, and you can get help, which I haven't had much luck with, and then account information, which I'm not going to show you that. But that's the basic app. Another spot um, that I want to show you in this app is if you go into settings, you can share Kuna. That's where you go to share it. So if I want to share it with someone, it gives you the time zone, your location. You could turn your status LED light on or off. If you're setting it up for the first time, it's going to be on. You can switch it off. Receive alerts, you turn that on. Uh, light settings. Um, this is where you can go into um, a timer. And I do love this. I forgot this is one of those products that do this. Um, you can pick dusk till dawn kind of thing. I love that. It takes your local time and actually does that. Um, you could set a weekend schedule. I don't really bother with that. Motion timeout. Uh, after 30 seconds, it'll turn off. After five minutes, it'll turn off. Or you can make a custom dust offset. So this is an offset to turn it. I never really play with this, but I, I'm guessing it's an offset for when it gets light or dark. You can let it get closer to the sunset or you know, vice versa. But yeah, that's some of those uh, options. And then motion sensitivity. This is uh, where you'll set the sensitivity of the light. I'm not going to touch this because I kind of have it in a sweet spot where it's actually working. Okay. This is a new thing that Kuna put in. I don't really mess with it. Smart detection. Um, it's only if you upgrade. I would, if I had to guess what it is, I would say it knows who you are like you know your face um play sound on detection you can turn that on or off right now i have it doing happy halloween um which is really cool and then you can test the sound when you're out there in front of it um speaker volume i keep it about 90 i don't want to blow out the speaker so i keep it about that um but this is where you name it right up here and you can name it whatever you want and that's what whatever you name it is what the uh echo dot will respond to it so when you're trying to activate it using Alexa um, that's the name that you'll do so like if you want to uh, turn on front door light you know what I mean front door turn on front door that's what you would say for that so just keep that in mind whatever you name it it's what the name of Alexa is gonna take for it so and that's it I mean um, that's basically the app and if if you have any other questions like I said please put in comments below All right, guys it's really windy out here so I'm gonna move this back into my office I hope you don't mind I'm sorry I try to change up the scenery so you're not always looking at me at my desk but it's just really windy out here so we're gonna take it inside 
All right, we're back inside. I'm sorry, the wind was kind of gusting, and I just don't want bad audio on my videos, and I try to change the scenery, so we're standing in front of my collector wall. All right, so back to the corner. Oh, by the way, you might have noticed I got some new sunglasses. Hey! Just thought I'd pick up some of those just to spruce it up, match my outfits, you know what I'm saying? So let's see what the video looks like with Kuna. Here's some deliveries I had to my house that I have video of. All right, back to Kuna. Pros and cons of Kuna. We'll start with the pros, guys. Uh, you know, I'm going to say all the good things about it. It is great to be able to see your front door from anywhere you are. I mean, it really is a great peace of mind kind of thing. I love the notifications when they work. Uh, I love the fact that you can you can do that. I like that I can look back at my videos. I love, love the greetings. I know it sounds silly, but the greetings are really cool, especially around the holiday times. You know, happy Halloween as you heard, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, uh, to see that. And it's also really cool for the chimes, so that way you can see when the camera actually is starting to record. You know, a little tip there for you, so that way you can find out, you know, when it's actually recording. Um, um, it does go back a little bit ways. I really do like that feature. I love that you could set timers with this. I didn't mention this, but yes, you could set timers with this. We have it going on around, um, I think around 7, and we have it turn off around 11. Um, it is really cool. I love that the feature that you could do timers, and I believe I showed you in that in the app. Another thing that um, I really like about it is that it works with Alexa. It's pushing that smart home envelope, and they didn't have to do that, and I give them kudos for that. That is awesome. I, you know, be able to say, hey, turn on my front light, and boom, it's on. I love that feature. Cons. Big con for me. The notifications sometimes don't work. And that's really frustrating when a product claims, hey, you know, see who's at your door, and half the time the notifications aren't working. I have a little bit of an issue with that. Big one, I, you know, and, and I'm going to go into the customer service side of this too. There's another thing that bothers me. The customer service, when somebody makes a list and takes the time to make an email, make a list out of everything they do, don't send back a cookie cutter email that says basically what I just told you I did and tell me to do it again. Now, they did all right. You know, I had to go back and forth with them a couple times because I'm having problems with the notifications. They're not saying it's an issue on their part. They're trying to make it out like it's kind of my network or my phone or whatever. I really feel it's the server. Um, I went through all the steps. I cleaned it. I, I uh, checked my network. I made sure that connections were going right and the reason why I know it's not working is there's times that I get a package during the day and it seems like it's around 12, 1230 where I get a package because that's when packages are delivered and it's sitting on my stoop and there was no notification and there was no look back there was nothing and that that is a big deal with me especially when you're a product claiming to be able to do these things and that's a big no-no with me um, and also it has a two-hour look back Two hours to look back is not enough time, especially if the notifications aren't working correctly. So now, you know, I'm at work, I get a package delivered, or some suspicious person is looking at my door. Not a good way to do things. Um, so now, like, you know, if I don't think to look at it for two hours, which, you know, let's be honest, who's going to think to do that? I don't look back for two hours, and now, bam, I, I have no idea that anything even happened at my house until I see a package. So who knows what I'm missing out on, and, and that's a big no-no on Kuna's part, and that's another big thing that I do not like about another con of this uh, product is no night vision. 
And now the light does come on whenever it's triggered, but it would be nice to have some of that night vision, best because it does record a couple seconds beforehand, and it, it, it should have that night vision. I feel like that's a big miss on, on their part, you know, and, and there's a lot of, you know, I, I understand they're trying to make it a reasonable price, and it is a really reasonable priced uh, product. Another con that I feel about this product is, you know, I'm a 300 pound man, and I walk up to it, and sometimes it won't go off, you know, when it's having those issues, but a bug or the wind will set it off, and it is very aggravating, and I believe I showed you in the app, you can dismiss it for uh, a certain amount, I put it on snooze so it won't constantly, you know, get you, and make sure you put your phone on uh, nighttime mode so that way you don't get notifications throughout the night because if you have a windy night or you know you accidentally left the light on and bugs are flying around it it is going to drive you insane <sighs> that's why i'm going to say that this product is going to get a three out of five because that is a huge huge downfall um you know i i don't understand why they're doing that and you know, they, they, they're trying to make it out like it's some of my equipment. They did offer to replace it, but I, do, I really feel like it's the server. And, and, and you know, in the future, I might do that because we are getting up past that year mark, and I don't want to, you know, get stuck with it. But that was the big thing for me, and, and those are my thoughts on it. Um, hey, Kuna, if you're listening, you know, fix this problem. I mean, you know, that's why I gave you a threat. If, if it worked, the notifications worked every time. You would have a five. You would definitely have a five. But this is a big issue. And now going to my thoughts on it. Would I buy it again? I'll be honest with you. I'm 50-50. I like a lot of features about it. But there's a lot of things I don't like about it. Um, you know, and the notification is the biggest thing. I'll be honest with you. That is the big deterrent for me. So, you know, take it that what you will. So there's my overall thoughts. Um, happy Halloween, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure you like and subscribe. And remember... You can do anything you put your mind to. Later. <laughs> my puppy. Give me my puppy. Give me my puppy. Give me my. You thought I was a picture, didn't you? Sure you like it, subscribe. Do me a favor already.